Today I'd like to introduce you to two new controllers available to the ICPAM Access Control product. On my left we have the MX, which is available in a 4 and 8 door model, and on my right is the M64, which is a 64 output controller primarily used for elevator floor control or data center rack locks. We'll talk about each controller in a little bit more detail in just a moment. One of the first things you'll notice about the MX is that it comes in a NEMA style enclosure. This is more of a traditional controller, a bit of a departure from the Gateway and EM100 style PoE edge devices. Inside the door of the MX is a wiring diagram which will show you the components of an MX controller. There's a built-in tamper switch to tell us when the door has been opened and the enclosure is secured with a Medeco lock. Inside the enclosure body we have a built-in power supply which is auto ranging from 110 to 240 volts AC. It also includes built-in battery backup. On the left side of the can we see the SNB3 board which is our network interface board. The SNB3 will support IPv6. Every MX controls either four or eight fully supervised doors. This MX happens to be an MX8 signified by the CCM X8 module and all eight doors are populated with Phoenix connectors. An MX4 would be identical but would have a CCM X4 module and only have the first four doors populated with Phoenix connectors. There is an upgrade from an MX4 to an MX8 which would include a new CCM X8 module and Phoenix connectors to finish populating the remaining four doors. Every door has a dry contact output for a lock such as a strike or a mag lock. Each door also includes a single input which would connect to one of our resistor packs such as our MLEM3, which would then provide up to three inputs for a door position sensor, request to exit, and tamper. We will go into the MLEM resistor packs in more detail in a bit. Every door has a match reader port and a Wigan reader port. Each door is also equipped with an electronic fuse that protects the board from power surges. A surge or lightning strike will trip the fuse which will auto reset after a few seconds. This would affect only the door with the power surge and other doors would remain operational. The MX also has four alarm outputs that can be programmed to activate on a default or user definable events. All door and alarm relays are field replaceable in the unlikely event of a relay failure. Another feature of the MX is the capability to add expansion input and output boards inside the enclosure. Each MX can support up to four expansion boards which attach to the ribbon cable that connects to the SNB3. Each of the expansion boards has either eight inputs or eight outputs, giving you the capability to add up to 32 ports of expansion inside each MX. We can also daisy chain up to 16 MX controllers together off a single Ethernet port via RS-485 cabling. The MX and other M-series controllers are fully supervised controllers and require the use of our resistor packs on all inputs, whether that is an input for a door or an input for an expansion board. These resistor packs simplify the installation and can reduce the number of wires needed at each door. The resistor packs come in a couple of different types, which are the MELM, the DTLM, and the SBMS. With the exception of the SBMS, the resistor packs are designed to be installed at the door behind the reader or inside the door frame. The MLEM modules or miniature embedded line module are our standard option and come in one, two, and three input options and have a built-in whip lead. The MLEM1 is used for an MX door that only has a door position sensor or for an input on one of the input expansion boards. The MLEM2 is used for an MX door that utilizes a door position sensor and a request to exit. And the MLEM3 adds tamper input in addition to the DPS and Rex inputs. All MX panels shipping through the Cisco channel include a MLEM3 resistor pack for each door. So an MX4 would include 4 and an MX8 would include 8. The DTLM modules or Digitrack line module mirror the MLEM modules and come in 1, 2, and 3 input options, but they are slightly larger and use screw terminals instead of having a pre-soldered whip. The SBMS modules or supervised balanced magnetic switch 
is a unique higher security option and includes a balanced magnetic door position sensor and an MLEM3 module in a single device. The M64 is a 64 output controller which will primarily be used for elevator floor control and data center rack locks. Like the MX, the M64 comes in an enclosure. The enclosure is secured by a Medeco lock and has a built-in tamper switch. The M64 also includes a built-in power supply and battery backup. We use our MSP board for the control mechanism for the M64. The MSP board has four electronically fused alarm outputs like the MX, which are also field replaceable. The MSP board comes with two match reader ports, which can be used with an identity reader or a match tube board to provide a Wiegand input for a standard Wiegand reader. The match port benefit is that it can go much further than standard Wiegand, up to 1500 feet or 500 meters versus Wiegand's 300 feet or 100 meters. This makes a big difference when you have to cover long distances, for instance when an elevator bank has a very long travel cable. The M64 uses a SNB3 network interface board like the MX. The M64 can also support up to two MX input expansion boards but does not support the addition of any output boards. The main board for the M64 has four columns of 16 outputs for a total of 64 outputs. Like on the MX, each output is electronically fused and also field replaceable. It is important to note that when you are planning for elevator floor control that you plan one MX or M64 per elevator bank and do not do more than one bank on a single MX or M64. So one bank, one MX or M64, two banks, two MXs or M64s, and so on. The MX and M series controllers use the same range of expansion modules. Today we will focus on three of these modules. These include the Alarm Expansion Board, or AEB-8, the Relay Expansion Board, or the REB-8, and the Match-2 Reader Interface Board. The AEB-8 is an 8-input expansion board. These can be used for general purpose inputs and utilize the MLEM-1 resistor pack. Each AEB-8 module shipping through the Cisco channel will include 8 MLEM-1 modules. The REB-8 is an 8-output expansion board. These can be used for general purpose outputs. The Match 2 Reader Interface Board takes a match port from an MX or M series and provides two Wiegand ports for standard Wiegand readers. The Match 2 board will be used with an MX when a door needs multiple readers for read in, read out, or if you have a reader that is farther than what standard Wiegand distance allows. The Match 2 board would also be used with any of the M series controllers such as the M64 to attach any Wiegand readers. The Match port typically would run up to 1500 feet or 500 meters. So in conclusion with ICPAM 3.0 and the addition of the MX and M64 controllers we open up the potential for higher density more flexible centralized installation options with a much lower cost per door while maintaining the ability to still have PoE edge controllers at the door with the EM100. In addition, with the MX and M64, we are bringing solutions that were not previously available with ICPAM, such as elevator floor control and high density data center rack solutions. Thank you for watching.